which one should I get? Bleu de Chanel or Dior Sauvage? I get asked this question all the time. So today we went out to the public and asked them, actually asked women, which one would they prefer on a guy? So we've done all the work for you so you can just purchase your fragrance and get happy just strolling around and getting compliments. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Three, two, one, let's do this. My name is Monica and here on this channel we make content all fragrance related so if you are interested in smelling great subscribe to this channel and press that notification bell and just for reference I've got Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum and I've got Sauvage Dior Eau de Toilette. These are my choices and that's uh, what fragrances the ladies were smelling. I'll link the fragrances down in the description for you guys and let's see which one ladies found sexier. Do you have any comments? Do you like it? Yeah, that's really nice. I think you, that's nice. You think it's a nice, nice one. And this one? This one smells a little bit stronger than this one. Would you rate it higher because of that or? Yeah, I, I imagine this one would like stay on longer. Okay, so you prefer this one. So, yeah. and which one do you think is sexier? This one or this one? Which one's more sexy? This one. This one is sexier? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So which one smells more attractive to you? Oh, th this is stronger. I'm not saying uh, they are very okay. different, but this is stronger. I don't want to say like something stupid, but uh, this is stronger. This one like... is stronger. So would you say this one is sexier than this one? The question is, is <laughs> which one is more sexy? Is this what you try? <laughs> uh, and try this one again, smell it. It's just for comparison. Oh, yeah, I, I like this one. You I like, like this, this one more? Yeah. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you very much for the time. <laughs> no what do you think of all this fragrance? It's nice. It's florally. Okay, and now second one. If you could grab this one, I'll take this one for you. Oh, sorry. Um, which one do you prefer? This one's a bit more masculine, I think. A bit more masculine. Yeah. If I would ask you a question, which one smells more sexy? Which one would you say? I can smell uh, this one once again, so I can get reminded. This one, the first one. The first one is yeah. more sexy for you. I think but this one smells more masculine, you said. This one smells more. This one smells more masculine, but in a um, in like a douchey way. <laughs> in a douchey way. Wow, that's interesting. Like, no, but you just saw it smells like you know some some types of guys that yeah. just like pour like aftershave <laughs> over them, and whereas some types of of guys they have a more like subtle aftershave on or more subtle perfume on and you prefer and this when you ones. get closer to yeah. them you can like smell it i don't like it when like they walk past you and you literally like drown in their aftershave mm -hmm. okay that puts me off so that's why i think this is the first one mm -hmm. is nicer okay do you have a lot of followers oh uh, not much don't oh, worry about it <laughs> quite strong okay but really subtle i like it but strong but subtle at the same time yeah okay. i like it okay that's uh, number two. I'll take this one for you. I definitely like this one more. Oh, you like this one more? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Is it because they, it's... Are they both men apart? Men? Uh, yeah, they're, they're obviously they're both for men. I don't know. I just like it more. You like it more? Yeah, I think because it's similar to my partner's uh, perfume. Uh -huh. Okay. Because yeah. this one's stronger. Yeah. I definitely like this one more. Okay. So would you say this one is sexy, more sexy yeah, yeah, exactly. than this one? Exactly, yeah, more sexy. Wow. Yeah. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you very yeah, much for your time. This one and tell me your initial thoughts. Fennelwood or something. Oh, wow, you're going in, in, into notes. That's good. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's a bit oh. masculine, I think. Yeah, yeah, they're both masculine, yeah. by the way. They're, they're both for guys. Yeah. So on a guy, right. how much would you like this one or this one? Which one smells sexier? The first one. This is the first one strong, is more sexy. Uh, like the what's that uh, called? Mus mus but this, but this I one. I like the, the first one. Better. Because this yeah. one smells too masculine yeah. for you. Is that what well, you're saying? Too strong. Like too yeah. strong. Yeah. So you like more the the it's subtle too one. Too much of one thing. To me. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's more subtle. So the subtle one is sexier yeah. than the other one. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you very much. Do you like it? Mhm. Mm it's nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's number two. Okay, yeah. Which one is more sexy? This is both. They are both for. They are both for guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. On your this one. 
This one, uh, number two. Yeah. It's more sexy to you. It's more sexy. Okay. So the winner of this battle is your Sauvage, but just by one vote. So I'm thinking if we were asking more women, and by the way, if you like those sort of videos, give this video a thumbs up so we know uh, to make more. Well, it's about two points, but it's okay. Okay, <laughs> two points then. But what do I think would happen if we asked more women? I think from what we saw is that Dior Sauvage is most universally liked, I would say, and it's very easy and casual. So if you are a guy that works outside, for example, or if you're just a casual dressing guy, like white t-shirt and some jeans maybe, this is a perfect fragrance for you. And the eau de toilette just projects like crazy. It's very strong. Many women said, oh my gosh, this is strong so if you want a strong fragrance yes get this one but the additional is great too and i would say this one is a bit more refined it's not as popular as your sauvage to the public and it seems like it's a bit more expensive or that's how i interpreted what they were saying it is just more of a refined taste so if you would like to attract that sort of a person that prefers maybe um not an over sprayer uh, she prefers somebody who is quietly confident maybe this is a fragrance for you i would say this is also a fragrance that is more classy and timeless chanel does that very well all their fragrances are super classy whereas Dior sauvage it's a very trendy fragrance at the moment so it's not as classy but still you saw it women will give you compliments what one of the girls said to us is that dior sauvage is often over sprayed she said that it seems like this guy who's over spraying the fragrance and that's why she chose Bleu de chanel so if you are that guy that over sprays dior sauvage maybe i would say consider toning down your sprays because you might actually be uh, doing yourself a disservice because this fragrance is strong Anyway, it's stronger than Bleu de Chanel, so you don't have to go crazy on your sprays. And actually, ladies might appreciate it more than just being like, whoa, he's just too much. I can't even smell anything else. I can't breathe. So do take that into account. But these two are both amazing, amazing everyday fragrances, good for the office, good for casual days, good for, I don't know, trips, good for everything pretty much so very versatile dumb rich colognes that every guy should have in his fragrance collection in my opinion let me know which one do you guys prefer down in the comments i'll link them both also in the description and i just wanted to mention I've got my two fragrances that have come out uh, recently and we also asked the pub public what they think about my fragrances. So I'll link that video for you guys now here too so that you can go and see that if you enjoy those sort of videos. I'll see you all again soon and that's it. Okay, bye.